We're live. Okay. Let me get my stuff situated. We are live on YouTube. Let me get us live on Instagram. We are live. We are live on YouTube. We are live. YouTube. We are live on Instagram. Instagram. My YouTube family. Thanks for being here. My Instagram family, thanks for being here. We are going to record the last episode of season three right now. We're recording it live. I've got the YouTube going. I got my Instagram going. I got my cafecito. Oops, I'm using my Jet Puff mug. The kids are letting me borrow it for today. Hello, hello to everyone who is joining. I am uh, will be uploading this episode to the streaming platform, Apple Podcast, wherever you get your podcast later today. I wanted to record it live. So if you are watching the replay, if you're watching live, you get the first listen. And then I go back and I put the intro music in for my podcast listeners. So let's get into it because we made it. We made it and we finished another amazing season of Elevating La Cultura podcast. And I'm so grateful for each guest and everyone that has listened. At the end of season two, we had around 700 downloads, which is amazing. And right now, we're at close to 1,400 downloads. We have doubled that within the season. And I am like so, so agradecida to all the support, for all the support and the feedback that keeps me going and sharing our stories. So right now I'm recording live and I'm gonna be switching from like YouTube to Instagram. I am, uh, so if anyone wants to comment, I see the comments coming. If you have a question or another comment, uh, feel free to post and I'll get to them at the end, whether you're on YouTube or Instagram. And I thank you so much for all the love and encouragement that I'm seeing on Instagram right now. I'm so excited. Like this season has been amazing. This whole experience with the podcast has been amazing. And I'm just so thankful for each person that has commented, shared their stories, and engaged so that we can like continue elevating La Cultura and continue these conversations uh, going. So all of my guests this season have had such an immense amount of wisdom to share, and I've had time to reflect on my own educational experiences, and I've gained a better understanding for how I can reconcile with my past in a way that can shift things for the next generation. It's complex, and it takes work, but whenever we have conversations and listen to each other's stories, it's easier for us to empathize and gain a different perspective on life. So in this season, we focused on Latinas in the education space, and many of us have viewed our years in school as something to be prioritized. Because growing up as an immigrant or first or second generation immigrant, we have had this immense pressure to strive for higher education as a thank you to what our parents sacrificed for us. I knew my father immigrated to the US and didn't attend high school when he was in Mexico. So as the oldest in my family, I knew that excelling and getting a higher education would make my family so proud. I loved seeing how proud my parents would get when I would get good grades, They would tell the rest of the family how well I was doing and if I got into honor classes. And that led to my perfectionism and me always striving to want to be the best. It wasn't until this season that I started to process how the high expectations I had as a child have translated to who I am today. But that's what I mean. When we have these conversations and make time to hold space 
for these conversations to happen and share our stories, we learn about ourselves along the way, which is why I'm so thankful for each guest sharing their story. I think back to the first time I met Carolina in episode uh, 26, and I was in awe to find another Latina mom who homeschooled. And she homeschooled in a way that led with love and understanding for our children. I loved that our conversation opened up the season and offered representation in the homeschooling space. She helped me to see that the homeschooling space was a space for me too. And actually through her, I met Anna Lily from episode 29, who showed me that public school education and parenting in general could be different from a rigid, strict, controlling foundation. I mean, seriously, my mind was blown and I was obsessed with her content. I could relate to her desire for wanting to shift the narrative when it came to parenting. And the fact that she was able to also apply it to the classroom made me think that I would totally send my kids to be her students if I could. And after meeting her, I started to see and hear of other educators working hard to change the narrative of education, mostly because of the experiences they had as children too. I met women like Vanessa from episode 27 and Lisette from episode 28, who are literally building schools and a space for kids to learn in an environment that will elevate their culture while also giving them a great foundation for learning. And Veronica in episode 31, who has built a daycare in her community and is changing the idea of what daycare can be. It's amazing. I can also really appreciate the space that Margarita from episode 30 is creating through Latin Exchange. Because after speaking with teachers in this season, I can understand how important it is to find the support needed since educators are working so hard to provide a safe learning environment for their students while also helping them socially and emotionally. Being surrounded by other like-minded educators to be able to continue to provide a positive change for their students is like crucial. Hearing from teachers like Vanessa Mendoza in episode 32 gave me a better understanding of what a special education blended classroom is. It was also great to hear from her on how you can get the support needed as a parent and not be afraid to advocate for what you need or what your child needs because there are people who are willing to help and who actually want to help. Brenda's story in episode 33 was so impactful and I'm so thankful for all the work she's doing beyond the classroom to work at the national level to help change the view of educating to include the whole child as a foundation in the classroom. And I know my high school years were a hot mess from figuring out what to do with my life while keeping my grades on point and trying to have a social life and stay active with after school programs all while processing or many times not processing microaggressions since I had assimilated and wasn't really supported with my mental health, high school was hard. It was hard. That's why I'm so encouraged in talking with Maria Luisa on episode 35 and hearing how so many teachers are now prioritizing mental health in the classroom and teaching kids how to advocate for themselves and even knowing that we can be better equipped as parents to continue those conversations at home. I mean, that is huge. That is huge progress from when I was in high school. But I think that episode 35 with Nonica helped me process the most. I had recorded her episode a few weeks prior to releasing it, and my conversation with her really touched me and helped me put to words the things that I had been feeling. If you haven't listened, it's the latest episode. 
go back and listen. I mean, she's amazing at empathizing from past experiences and understanding why generations before us made the decisions that they did. Because of that, she's able to help bridge generations into conversations that will help each one understand each other just a little bit more. And I think that's the goal to cultivate space for conversations between generations to happen so that we can have an understanding for each other. But so many times we are caught up in the day-to-day and don't take the time to learn from each other. That's why I'm so proud of this space. As parents, caregivers, and educators, we all really just want to support our kids in who they are, to elevate and encourage them to be better than we are so that they can create a better future for the future generations. I mean, how amazing is it that we know Latinas are working hard against their own past experiences to make sure that it's improved for the coming generations. I'm so proud to know each and every one of my guests this season. I have such hope for the future in knowing that our youth are being supported socially, emotionally, as well as academically. So let's keep pouring into our schools, our teachers, and our children. Okay, thank you so much for listening. I'm gonna close us out and then I'll get to comments. But if you enjoyed this conversation, please rate on Apple Podcasts, share. You can take a screenshot and share on Instagram and tag at Elevating La Cultura. Send me a DM. You can also comment on this YouTube video if you're watching online or watching the replay. I always like to hear from people and how they resonate with the stories that I share. En serio. I respond to DMs, messages, comments. I respond. So, muchísimas gracias for another amazing season. Enjoy the rest of your day, afternoon, evening, whenever you're listening. Y nos vemos pronto for the next season. TBD. Okay. Adios. All right, I'll stay on with Instagram for a few minutes. I'm going to close out YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the replay. And leave a comment. Like this video. All the things. Okay. And now Instagram. Let's see.